Today, we're gonna show you how to wire a four prong dryer cord. This is for an electric dryer and we're actually installing this on an LG electric dryer. Now, most electric dryers will not ship pre-wired, so that's something that you might have to do yourself if you are getting an electric dryer. Now, there's either a three prong or a four prong connection and how you know what you have is you're gonna look at the wall outlet that you have in your home for your electric dryer and then you're going to need to wire it up. In our case, we've got a four prong dryer outlet, so we're going to wire that up. Now, we remove the rear cover and that allows us access to the terminals. Once you've got that open, there is a diagram typically right next to the terminals that's gonna show you how you need to wire up the four prong outlet. So reference that and you can see here, we've got the diagram it shows us we're gonna wire up the green to the ground screw on the left side, and then it goes black, white, red from left to right on the main terminals for that four wire connection. So we're gonna start removing the existing screws that are in each one of these terminals. Make sure that you don't drop these into the back of the dryer, be very careful. However, there is one spare if you do drop these, but you wanna try not to do that, so just be careful. Now, I'm using a quarter inch socket to remove these screws on an LG electric dryer. That may differ for whatever brand dryer you have, as well as the wiring diagram may differ for your brand dryer. So you just need to be cognizant of what that diagram says. However, many of them are very similar. You could also use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove these, but I found that they were screwed in there pretty tight, so the socket uh, was better to get a little bit of leverage to remove these screws. But the most important thing, whether you're doing a four prong uh, dryer outlet or cord on LG, Samsung, uh, GE, Whirlpool, whatever it is, is just reference that diagram and then follow those instructions to wire it up. Now, uh, the other thing you need to note is that there is a ground terminal, so that is usually uh, secured right to the frame of the washer and dryer rather than these terminals that are on a terminal block. And in our case, that ground terminal is all the way to the left on the frame. And that is also referenced in the uh, picture and wiring diagram. So we've got all the terminal screws off. Now we've got our final ground screw terminal off. We're gonna take that off and then we will have removed all these and just be careful when you remove these screws that you don't drop them into the back of the dryer you want to just be cognizant of that because otherwise you'll have a little screw stuck down there we've got our ground terminal off and now it's time to wire up uh the wires through the dryer outlet. So that's the little outlet for the cord. Now you do wanna install strain relief here if you've got it in the kit. Uh, mine did not come with a strain relief for the cord. And why you do that is you don't want these cords to chafe on the dryer when it vibrates. I'm gonna install that uh, once I get the kit shipped to me for that strain relief or once I'm able to go to the store and get one. But uh, I'm wiring it up and then uh, before I operate this, I would wanna install that strain relief right where that black cord goes into the dryer because that is going to prevent chafing as well as if you're moving this, uh, taking the pressure off the terminals and on that strain relief rather than on those terminals so you don't rip anything off or damage anything. So first terminal that we're screwing in here is that ground terminal and uh, we've got that secured. We've got our wiring uh, inside there and then we're just gonna go uh, from left to right after this. We're gonna secure the black one next the white wire and then the red wire. So we've got our ground screw almost all the way installed here and we're just gonna keep going then on to the next terminal and uh, we're gonna install that black terminal uh, first all the way to the left per the wiring diagram. And the most important thing here is follow whatever your specific dryer wiring diagram is. So we're gonna get it lined up. Sometimes you gotta pull that cord, adjust it a little bit to get that very first terminal on. And then once you've done that, you can get that screw in there and start securing it. So we're just gonna use a Phillips screw to uh, tighten this back in place. And you wanna make sure you have it nice and tight, but don't over tighten this or anything and put way too much tension on it. Uh, 
the way that this is supposed to be held in place is yes, the wire on the terminal block, but then the strain relief is really supposed to take care of all the weight of that cord and that connection into the wall. So that is important that you would want to install that uh, before you put this in service. However, this video will show you how to wire up the four prong dryer cord if you got it. And then hopefully your kit came with that strain relief so you can just get it all done in one shot here. Next one we're wiring up uh, is that middle terminal per the diagram and that is our white wire. So what this is is um, you have two legs of 120 volts and then you have uh, the white wire in the middle which is your neutral and then you have the ground wire. Uh, so that is how this uh, works and that gives you enough amperage for the dryer uh, to have full amperage for operation on a four prong uh, dryer cord installation uh, for the LG dryer. Now, most manufacturers of dryer are very sim similar. And one thing to note is you can see over here on the far left, there's a little screw that says spare. If you drop a screw, you can unscrew that and you can use that uh, as one of your spare terminal screws. So just a little tip there if you do lose one of these or something like that. So now we've got everything wired up. Pretty much the only thing we have left to do is put our cover back in place. So we're going to make sure everything's secured. We slide our cover back into place and then uh, we're going to put the terminal screw in. Now before uh, I would start this dryer up and start using it, I would use that strain relief. Make sure that gets installed where the cord comes out of the dryer because you can see that is uh, definitely a chafe point. So thanks for watching this video on how to install a four prong dryer cord. We hope you enjoyed this video please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and click any links below if you want to support us. We'll see you next time, and thank you for watching.